it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make your own hair growth oil this oil is powerful enough to cause even the toughest hair to grow if it's used properly and also frequently what I mean by properly is like you know you use it the right way which I'm going to talk about as we get into the video now if you're interested be sure to watch and watch till the end of the video if it's your first time on this channel thank you so much for checking me out my name is Vanessa I make videos like this so if you're interested in seeing more of this type of videos click the subscribe button and join the family and if you're returning thank you so much for your support now the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe would be some aloe vera you guys know how much I love aloe vera like I use aloe vera quite often in my hair regimen and I've used it over the years and I've definitely noticed a massive difference in my hair growth and also in the way my hair feels. Now aloe vera is really great because it contains something called proteolytic enzymes which helps repair dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner for your hair, leaving it nice and moisturized. And also it prevents itching on the scalp, reduces downdraft, which obviously you're trying to avoid if you're trying to grow, to, to grow hair pretty much. So I'm just cutting a small portion of the aloe vera that I'm gonna need here, guys. You can use as much or as little as you want, depending on how much oil you're trying to make now you want to wash the aloe vera just to get rid of you know all the dirt or, or sort of impurities from it and then cut it into small pieces just like i'm doing here ideally square shapes um so once you finish doing that you now want to transfer that into a bowl okay <laughs> going with our next ingredient which will be some hibiscus leaf now you can I'm using fine cut hibiscus here but you can use like the whole leaf if you've got it available um, I've got a link in my description box actually in case you want to get your hands on some of these um, so I'm using about two tablespoons of hibiscus here now hibiscus is great for hair growth as well because it stops hair loss it makes your hair look healthier prevents premature growing also thickens hair and adds volume it treats down dwarf, it conditions the hair against freeze dryness and breakage and also prevents split ends which obviously is a great thing if you are trying to retain length now the next ingredient will be some olive oil now olive oil is one of those things that I believe everyone should use as the base when you are trying to make um, you know a growth oil because it offers amazing uh, properties now it contains protein antioxidants and also antimicrobial agents that can actually contribute to healthier hair and over time if you use olive oil on your hair uh, you will certainly notice that your hair is growing fuller because it helps strengthen your hair follicles and it also increases the lifespan of each strand of hair um, which is actually a really good thing now I added about maybe 12 or 13 tablespoons of olive oil here because I wanted to make quite a good amount um, the next one we're going to go in with guys would be some castor oil now castor oil is actually uh, really good because it helps make your hair stronger also prevents hair fall um, it has the ability to trigger and stimulate hair growth from the from dormant follicles so you need to um, I mean if you want to perhaps get thicker and, and stronger hair consider using castor oil as well in your regimen now the next one will be some essential oils now this is not necessarily that important but because it's a hair growth oil I'll definitely suggest that you consider using some type of essential oil now essential oils are great the ones that I use are tea tree essential oil and peppermint because of their amazing properties now tea tree essential oil actually helps soothe an itchy scalp so if you suffer a lot from itchiness around your scalp consider using these it's just really great it reduces down draft and flaking prevents uh, excess oil production on the scalp area which obviously is a good thing because down draft actually come from excess sebum um, production so it just helps control the pH around your scalp area which is actually a really good thing um, and it also improves the blood flow to your scalp and obviously providing it with just the amazing nutrients that um, that you're eating pretty much now peppermint oil is also really really good because it improves the circulation around your scalp area and can actually help promote hair growth uh, during the anagen phase which is the hair growth uh, the, 
the growing phase of the health of the hair cycle so you combine all of that in together guys we're now going to place the bowl in uh, a pot with some water in it and just place it on fire and allow it to to boil for a few minutes now um this can take a little bit of time so just be a little patient i think it took about maybe 45 minutes to an hour you know it's done when the aloe vera has turned from bright green to dark green then you know it's ready so just take that off fire and let it rest for a few minutes okay just to allow it to cool down now we're going to go ahead and strain it now i'm using a recap here but you can strain it using anything really like a, a, a tea towel stocking cap like anything that you got available so i decided to just use it i mean strain it directly into the container i was going to store my oil in and then i then later realized as you will later find out that it wasn't easy like it wasn't possible to you know strain it in that tiny little thing so i had to <laughs> I had to actually get a ball so I could, you know, do the process a lot easily because, yeah, it was a bit difficult to do it in this tiny little thing. Um, so as you're straining it, guys, just be um, mindful of the fact that, you know, you don't want to squeeze it too hard because you don't want to get some of the uh, hibiscus into the oil. Now, if you're using the, the actual hibiscus leaf, um, this is not really a problem because it's unlikely to pass through um the holes of the um stocking cap that you're using uh, but because i was using fine cut uh, hibiscus leaves you know i had to be a little careful when i was squeezing it because i just didn't want any of the uh actual leaf to get in the oil so just do it gently um and yeah and then it will be absolutely fine Okay guys so at this point i had finished squeezing it um but you can actually see uh what it looks like the hibiscus is actually sitting slightly at the bottom but don't worry about that when you want to use this just make sure that you give it a nice stir just so you can combine everything together so i just transferred that into my container uh the little jar that i was going to store that in and i was pretty much ready to use it now i would suggest that you know if you want to use this particular recipe to grow your hair that you use it as often as possible obviously it would be ideal if you could use it every day but we live in a busy world and you know no one's got time i mean i personally don't have too, too much time to be on my hair like every single second massaging that in so i would say maybe twice a week minimum oh sorry yeah minimum if you can i obviously do more if you have a little bit more time to um to apply this now so just that if you're applying it to your hair guys that you massage your scalp okay as you're applying it massage that area very well because we all know scalp massages are just great at promoting healthy healthier hair growth because it increases the blood flow to that area okay so it provides you all the nutrients and also apart from that it just allows you know your hair follicles and your what's it called yeah your hair follicles pretty much just to absorb all of the nutrients that we've got in this recipe okay now uh, i'll suggest that you know if you're using like i said massage it nicely and also maybe place um, a heat cap on your head as well perhaps if you're going to sleep just to allow you know easier absorption into the hair pretty much um so you probably seen this footage already in my last video i was just roughly showing you guys how you can apply this to your hair now it doesn't have to be after i mean during a conditioning routine you can just apply it you know on a regular normal day even when you're not actually um conditioning your hair okay so even on dry hair you can just go ahead and just apply that to your scalp and massage that in and then just go to sleep this is really good because even if you've got braids braids on or cornrows or anything you can certainly still go ahead and apply this now i know someone's going to ask me about the shelf life of this all the oils that i make to be honest i usually make the ones that i mean the quantity that i know i can use for you know a certain period of time 
um, but you can certainly add some vitamin E or C in it if you want to use it for longer. going to show you how I do my entire hair because you've seen that in my last video but it was just roughly to show you how you can apply this to your hair um, to get the best result okay um, so yeah I think I'm just going to um, yeah I'm just gonna stop it here this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next video bye